All right, so I bricked my router earlier today and wasted four hours getting it back to normal, and it was a pain in the butt, and I'm hoping to save some other people some time um, doing that. So this is how I revived myself, and hopefully you'll be able to do the same. Um, so first thing is you'll need three things. You'll need Wireshark, which is a network packet sniffer. You'll need TFTPD32. Make sure it's 32, not 64. 64-bit 64 has some bugs in it, uh, so 32-bit is most stable. Use that one. And then you'll need the uh, f the file that you're gonna want to flash, the bin file that you're gonna want to flash your router with. Um, I recommend using the uh, the firmware that your router bricked on. Um, I had flashed my router with OpenWRT and then adjusted some settings and that's when it bricked um, so when I tried to flash it with the initial C7 uh, my router's Archer C7 when I tried to flash it with that um, bin file it didn't work when I flashed it with the OpenWRT which is what it was currently running then it worked so uh, for what it's worth I would recommend using the bin file that is your the current flash uh, software or piece of firmware that you're using. Um, so once you've downloaded those three things, and obviously you do that using Ethernet, um, hook your computer into the Ethernet of your modem since your router isn't working. Download those three things. Um, set up. We'll set up TFTP first. Um, what we're gonna want to do is m make a folder on your desktop. I called it F because I was frustrated, um, and place a copy of the firmware you're gonna restore with in there and then what you're gonna do is go to settings be sure that uh, everything else is unchecked except for the server make sure that allow root as virtual root is checked click OK you may have to reboot that's fine then browse to the current directory um, which we're gonna make the directory that just has that bin file in it that you're gonna flash with and then go ahead and minimize that for now uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to unplug your router, hold down the reset button, keep holding the reset button down, plug it back in, keep holding the reset button down for 10 seconds. At this point your router will be looking for a, um, a file to flash with. So after 10 seconds let go, then plug your computer's ethernet into uh, the router. Um, once those two are connected, uh, you'll see uh, Ethernet connection uh, come up. Now you won't have internet. You're just connected to your router. What you're going to do is open Wireshark. Um, so let me go ahead and open that. Now my router's restored, but I'll show you. I can point out what you're going to see. What you're going to do is go ahead and click on Ethernet and start sniffing it. And let it sniff for like 10 seconds, then go ahead and stop sniffing. Um, None of this is realistically what you're going to see. Uh, mine's nothing's going to show because I'm not connected to Ethernet right now. Um, but so you'll you'll see some stuff in there. After 10 seconds, go ahead and stop sniffing, and you'll see something uh, in one of the packets under the description. It'll be saying who has, and then an IP address. Um, yeah, it'll have who has, and then an IP address, um, and then it'll say there will be you know another message from whoever or whatever but the thing that you're gonna look at is who has and then that IP address and you're gonna copy that IP address and and what you're gonna do once you've copied that IP address minimize Wireshark go into control panel network and internet network connections right click on Ethernet go to properties go to IPv4 properties and then what you're going to do is, it will be on obtain an IP address automatically. You're going to click use the following IP address and paste in that IP address that you saw under who has tell blah. You're going to paste the who has IP address into here. Um, for me, it was 192.168.1.66. That seems to be the case for a lot of people. Um, but you should see this. Uh, yours might be different. Then click OK. It'll yell at you for not having a subnet mask. Give you the default one, that's fine. Click OK, then click Close. Now what you're going to do 
is open up command prompt and run the ipconfig command. And once you do that, go back up, scroll up, and you'll see Ethernet adapter Ethernet. And what it'll list is your IPv4 uh, address right here. And it should be that address that we just set it to. So this is just making sure that we have that right. Um, and so once you verify that, what you're going to do is go ahead and boot up Wireshark again and start sniffing the Ethernet again. Sniff it for another 10 seconds, close the connection, um, stop sniffing, and one of the packets you should see should have something that looks similar to this. It's going to have a TFTP request and under the information it's going to be looking for a file and this is the recovery file it's looking for. What you're going to do is copy this recovery file name, go into your directory with the flash file that you're restoring with, and change that flash file's name to this recovery file name. Because that's what it's going to be looking for. Now what we're going to do is boot up, is bring back up TFTP, and we're going to start our server interface if you'll notice on control panel, I have my Ethernet port, which is Qualcomm. Um, what we're going to do with TFTP, make sure again that your current directory is now set to that directory with your renamed flash file in it. And under server interfaces, you're going to want to select your Ethernet port. Once you do this, it's not going to do it for me because my router is restored and not looking for a flash file. But once you do this, you click this, it should pop up and show that it is uploading this file to your router. If for some reason that does not work, it did not work for me the first time, what you're going to do is go to your router, hold the reset button down on your router for five seconds, come back here and click on this again. Then it should work if it didn't work before. It'll upload to your router uh, that bin file and then you just wait a little bit and you'll see your router start to reset um, and then once you're while you're waiting what you can do is um, once you're sure that it's been uploaded and your router's just resetting go ahead go back to your IPv4 properties and go ahead and change that back to obtain IP address automatically um, and then you can exit out of here and all that you'll be doing is you can even go ahead and actually stay plugged into your uh, routers uh, into your router. Once you see that it's stabilized the lights, go ahead and go to your router's IP address, which for me is 192.168.11, uh, and then it should have successfully uh, rebooted and have that uh, firmware running again. Please don't be an idiot and make your password root, for the love of God. Um, hopefully this helped you um, figure out how to successfully unbrick your router. Again, it's a little touchy with the TFTPD. Um, if you see it uploading and then nothing happens, try holding down that reset button on your router uh, that, and then reselecting the correct server interface again. Uh, that does help. But anyway, uh, hopefully this helps you and uh, good luck in your endeavor.